Hello everybody, JT Bear coming at you today from inside my greenhouse. Trying to avoid a little bit of work out there by doing a little work in here. Just thought I'd show you uh, kind of how I'm killing time between greenhouses. And I say between greenhouses because we've decided that once that whole area from the shed is finally cleared, looks like we're going to put in a giant greenhouse there, possibly tear this one down. We might save it for tea herbs, haven't quite decided on that one yet. But either way, I just thought I'd show you kind of what's going on with the uh, no power aquaponic setup that I'm working on behind me and uh, just share part of my day with you. So today I am uh, moving my plants around. You can see I've got rather a lot of Folgers cans all set up and they've all got their little hoses. I didn't even put liquid rubber on there. I just kind of shoved them in. And I have decided I am going to keep this shallow bed that has been so many drain problems because it works quite well to just let the duckweed kind of float underneath there. And then as all of these empty out from the containers, they're just going to empty into here and it's going to be a little extra biofilter, really. So, I don't know, good idea, bad idea, but certainly easier than taking this thing apart at this point. starting to come along quite nicely though. Still got a few plants over there I need to move and a whole lot more Folgers cans I can still make use of. But, getting her done. Take a look and see how the new fish are doing. I think some of these guys are probably going to go into the regular aquaponic system. Actually I think all of these guys are going to go into the regular aquaponic system. And I'm going to move two of the largest goldfish over because I've been watching a few different videos and it's kind of my understanding that larger fish require less dissolved oxygen so that just seems like kind of the right choice in this situation. But today is the day that we're going to end the confusion with whether or not this is a no power aquaponic system because I'm finally taking the pump out from the system that was here before. Do 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 do. You know what's scary about this situation is, for as messy as this greenhouse is, it's nothing compared to the chaos that is my desk. All right, so I'm just gonna track down which one of these cords actually leads to this pump, and then I'll get right back to you. Well, that's a lot quieter now. I imagine the neighbor across the alley is gonna appreciate that change. All right. Now this is the same pump that I've been using, well, since I got a fountain pump for this uh, aquaponic garden of mine. Just a little Laguna pump, but I gotta say, it has served me really, really well. I paid like 76 bucks for this thing, 75 bucks, something like that. So over two years, you now it's like 25 months. Well, it's 24 months in two years, but it's been over that, so we'll say 25 months, three bucks a month. And the pump still works just fine. In fact, I'm gonna be keeping it as a spare. I'm not gonna be using this in the other system just yet, because right now that uh, newer pump that I got for 40 bucks actually uses slightly less electricity and pushes almost the same amount of water. So, pinch those pennies, right? I'm sure a lot of you folks know how I feel about uh, the value of pinching pennies when it comes to fighting back against those billion dollar corporations. It really is surprisingly effective. If you've never thought about it, check out my uh, Grumbling Bear blog article on that. I uh, was a little tired when I wrote that, I'll be honest, but even in a wide awake review, it seemed pretty reasonable, so I posted it. But yeah, very interesting to think about what a penny can actually do for you. Especially since as Canadians, we don't have pennies anymore. There's a good financial reason for that, but still, no pennies. All right, I'm going to reposition you guys so the camera doesn't get soaked when I move some of these fish. All right, let's try this angle out and see how that works. They're all kind of hiding from me in the very back here. That one spotted one just about jumped right out of my net. Not a good idea. 
I suppose if I was thinking I would have gotten a blue bin like they use at the koi shows so I could show you guys the color on these newer fish. <laughs> oh, these are feisty little guys. I can see how they were left at the end. Good dodge. Alright, well this could take hours so I'm going to get back to you when I'm moving the big fish over so you can see just how big those guys have gotten. Alright, so I got all the new ones out of there. Not an easy trick. Now, I gotta get the big ones out of the barrel. Somewhere lurking in the heart of this thing are two goldfish that I would love to measure because I swear they're getting to be like a foot long. Maybe I'll get a chance to do that when they're in the uh, no power system. Drop a plastic ruler in there or something and wait till they swim by it. Bonus feature! Since I had the plumbing turned off, figured I'd rearrange things to make a little bit more sense. We'll see how this works. But in theory, that should work well. Well, the water's flowing out of there, so that's a good start. Trace along, trace along. Get to the back of the bed. Not seeing a lot coming out of there. Although, in all fairness, I had the ball valve set to the wrong position for that kind of behavior. Move the stage, and what do you know? Water flow. Excellent. Now, do I still have water up here? I do. System's nice and quiet. Excellent. Back to what I was doing in the first place. So I've been running around my scrap piles looking for anything just over two feet long and using it to create mini shelves along the top here as you can see two by four seem to work okay two by six will work a little better or two by eight you know I've never measured those anyway I'll probably fit maybe one maybe two more rows on there we'll see what kind of scrap I can find time to move the rest of the plants over well, it looks like I cut up the rest of the boards that would have been appropriate length for this for firewood. So, this is where I am for now, but it's a nice looking collection of plants. We'll keep an eye on this over the next few months, and knowing me, probably years. And see how this aquaponic system develops without a pump, without an air stone, nothing. So I'll show you the two larger goldfish that I chose. Or I'll try to through the glare without a polarized lens. But as you can see, these, these two are pretty sizable. So they should do all right. They've proven very sturdy. After all, these guys started off as feeder fish, you know, roughly three years ago. They've lived through everything so far. So I'm sure they'll be fine. All right, everybody. Well, it's just too warm in here to keep working in the greenhouse. I guess I got no choice but to get back to the yard work. So now that I've got this at least dealt with, I'm going to feel a little bit better doing that. So till next time, thanks for watching, everybody. Have yourselves a fantastic day. JT loves his coffee cans.